I'm so sleepy, but I need to wake up for this uh, second day of my conference or seminar. That's why. Attention to detail, I will open up the drug boxes and I will actually check the expiry dates of the answer. It is, uh, it's, a, it's an injury, it's an infection, it's not infection. You can have between 45,000 and 100,000 people in a stadium, and you probably get a lot of control to see what are their plans for the city. So this is the, uh, we went to Moscow to, to have a look at the FIFA sites before the World Cup. We went the year before. During the actual uh, area that everybody has a wonderful time. So it is a concert and medical services have to be provided. And you can see what happens when we do have a full study. And away we go. And the driver makes sure that he's going to take 15 minutes and not longer. If he does, he can get it to lose his job the city to tell us exactly what they've got so we can see what's there. From a medical point of view, everything is okay. Every city will have, it has to be done in terms of numbers, and that is why we mean ensure that the moment people in Russia where we needed to upgrade the system. So in the end, in Russia, the number of medical and allied...
going to use the Olympics for the evaluation you're going to make of a program. <laughs> partnership with key stakeholders, the plan aims to better align health care and resources toward the person-centered care with a focus on empowering people to make informed decisions for their health. Why do I give you this background? Because I truly feel that it's our wide geographical dispersion, the depth and breadth of our service lines, and our commitment to improving community resilience through proactive health and wellness initiatives has positioned PHC to be a significant contributor in the country's emergency and response emergency response and recovery planning briefly a discussion about mass gatherings i certainly do not want to spend time defining mass gatherings or discussing <laughs> establish this afterwards. You want to know how to engage the particular group and you want to promote risk communication as a governance approach. You want to coordinate on various levels with different stakeholders. You'll have timelines for this and you'll fit it in with your command, control, and communication. <laughs> 